welcome Sagittarius. We are going to be making an inquiry today as to what it is that your soul would like you to know. Okay, we'll be using the inquiry cards from Work Your Light Oracle, also Mystical Healing Cards and Osho Zen Zero. Okay, let's get into it Sagittarius. One card for Sagittarius please. There it is. Oh, and of course it went on the floor. Okay, Sagittarius, we have here boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Hmm, interesting. It's really, in it's quite cool because what I'm noticing here, first off, is this um, vibration around this person here. And so I feel like it's actually a, um, a matter of creating the boundaries to, to protect your vibration. Because it seems as though a lot of people are um, kind of like, um, do I want to say, I guess, invading your vibration in a sense. And... It's not that they're doing that consciously or in a cruel way. They don't wake up in the morning and go, oh, what shall I do today? Let's invade Sagittarius's vibration, right? It's not like that. But I think this needs to be quite a conscious thing for you. I'm also noticing the chakras here. And I feel like there needs to be work done on your is particularly your solar plexus chakra and there on down interesting okay so three cards for boundaries for sagittarius please there's something about also two worlds what is that about sagittarius I feel like by um, connecting, not connecting, sorry, by protecting your vibration, it will allow you to connect with another, um, another potentially another way of being or even another dimension. What's this card here? Listen to your guardian angel. Okay, so maybe that will help you connect with your guardian angel. Two more cards. One more card. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay, so we've got, listen to your guardian angel. It's really interesting because they're kind of standing in the same, and, and see the, guard. okay, so the guardian angel, this is what the solar plexus is about, right? Um, because the um, this is why this work on the solar plexus needs to happen because this is where you're going to connect um, to your guardian angel and I feel as though it's going to be through the intuition this is how you're going to um, receive messages from your guardian angel and they're both standing there focused with their eyes closed right nothing else is impacting them your guardian angel is sending out a particular vibration to you and it's a matter of you being able to set boundaries for yourself, okay, so that you can allow that to come in here. And with the hands of other people around you, like I say, it's not that they're doing anything wrong necessarily. Maybe it's even Sagittarius simply taking the time for yourself to go into meditation so that you can connect with your guardian angel, okay? Because I'm seeing this this um, quite a significant new beginning here for you, and um, a 
and I feel like your guardian angel is going to help guide you towards this new beginning. Because I just wonder if some of you aren't seeing the new beginning right now, or you're not aware of it being there available to you. Maybe it's still yet to come in, but it's there. And I feel as though your guardian angel is going to help you recognize this, okay? Yeah, see, look, yeah, look, going on this adventure here, right? This is this, this walking a new path in a sense here, Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, I feel as though the path that you've been traveling is um, something that maybe you've become a little bit um, tired of. And I mean that in the sense of potentially for some of you a little bit bored. Um, or so, and, and others of you, it could be that you're feeling quite worn. And um, you need sort of this new enthusiasm in your life. You need an adventure. It's, it's, there's, there's something to be discovered. And... Um, And it seems as though, it seems as though there's an unawareness of the possibilities that are available to you. So listen to this inner voice here, okay? Go within. This is really important for you, Sagittarius really important because I feel like this adventure and this new beginning is part of your soul's purpose for being here because remember this is your soul speaking to you this is your soul saying to you this is what needs to happen right now okay so this connection needs to be made in order for you to um, get on the correct path for your soul's journey in this lifetime okay we've got this card here because Sagittarius it's the case that um, you're traveling a path that is maybe for other people or directed by other people okay and um, it may feel as though you've decided on doing this but in fact it's um, it's not necessarily the direction that you're meant to be going in Okay, that doesn't mean to say that the people you're traveling with are not the people you're meant to be traveling with. This is to say that you are you are needing to consider which direction is best for you to go in. Okay, because this this is your journey. No one else's, and everyone else has their own journey. So um, sometimes we can get a little bit muddled and the, and the lines can become crossed, right? As to actually what is my journey and what is theirs. And here's the thing, Sagittarius, even in a relationship, it is so important to make sure that you are continuing along your journey. Yes, you come together in a relationship and you journey together, but there is still the journey of the individual soul's that needs to be completed. And maybe this is where the boundaries come in here to determine what is my journey and what is the other person's journey. You also have a journey that you travel together. But in order for that to be fulfilled, the two souls that are coming together need to stand and walk their own journey in their own right. And simply by doing that is going to allow you to feel the journey that the two souls have come together to fulfill. Okay? So be receptive. This is about receptivity. This is about growth. This is about you opening up. This is about you blossoming into your true form. Nothingness here. Look at this. 
see talking about a new beginning this is a clean slate for you here Sagittarius it's also about connecting in to the truth of who you are into um, the the um, The, the truth of life, right? Because there's, there's a, a sacredness about your life. And I just wonder if for some of you, can, you can feel this calling within your soul to step into that. And that potentially some of you may feel like things are a little bit out of alignment. And it's this connection with the truth of who you are, where you've come from, connecting into the stillness, into the silence, into the nothingness, where there is nothing but space around you, right? Connecting into that so that you can allow this inner voice to come through and allow your guardian angel to speak, to communicate with you. And ultimately, this is you communicating with yourself, connecting in with your higher self to allow the information to come through as to which direction to go in. Letting go. Letting go. Yeah, I just, I, I wonder if some of you are holding on to things um, <clears throat> because potentially there's sort of a belief that this is the direction to go in because this is what you, maybe this is what you decided a long time ago, you know. Um, and you don't want to renege on that. And also, we can get into a bit of a comfort zone. You know, it can become familiar. So it's like, meh, why not? It's what I know. It's what I do well. It doesn't have to be in a relationship necessarily. This could be in your work, in your spiritual life, in your home life. But there's something inside of you that's telling you it's time, right? And when we talk about letting go, that then creates a whole new vibration about you. Okay? As you let go, you drop one of the dew drops. This could even be your tears. You drop those which causes a vibration to permeate out. And that vibration is never ending. It continues on and on and on. Mm. Anyhow, the next card here is examine your integrity. Yeah, see, there are some of you who just feel like a puppet on a string. And when you're examining your integrity, you're really looking at your honesty about how you feel about things. Is this really what you want? Is this truly what you want? You know, because you can wear the angel wings all you like, but if you are a papa on a string, doing what you believe you're meant to be doing or doing what society says you're meant to be doing or someone else is controlling those strings for you, especially at work, right? Being honest about that, at least with yourself, Sagittarius, is the first step to living your truth, okay? Because I think we all would like to believe that we're honest, but if we're not telling the truth about something that is not resonating with us, then how honest are we really being, right? This card up okay yep yeah. so we've got healing and totality here yeah this is the healing that needs to happen in order for this connection to be made here okay the connection with yourself this connection with your soul okay it's not that you're not connected I think it's more about you becoming aware of the connection because you are actually connected but it's living it um, purposefully rather than by default here Sagittarius okay um, yeah not becoming complacent as well I want to say that if it could because it's sort of like 
you do a certain amount of this and you almost get there and then you're like, meh, it's not working. I'm going to go over here and do this. But I want to say, keep going. Keep going. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, um, actually, sorry, on this keep going. Okay, keep going because that's going to open you up to this receptivity of what it is that you can receive here. This new beginning and this connection here, okay. The healing, this is where the letting go comes into play. All right, letting go of the things that you don't want to carry with you, that you don't need on this adventure. Because look at this little one going on the adventure. She doesn't even have a, 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 um, a little suitcase or anything, right? Just off she goes, trusting. Trusting it's the right way to go because she can feel it. She can feel that vibration. It's She, she has this resonance. She recognizes the light that she is walking into here. And I think that's the thing, you'll know, right? Because what's happened is you've completed a cycle, okay? It's time to put the last piece of the puzzle into place, okay? And this is going to help with the connection because it is in the third eye area here, okay? And that is going to help you be able to let go of what it is that you need to let go of in order to move forward, okay? Some of you are holding back on that. Some of you are kind of like, no, I want to stay here with what I know in my comfort zone. I don't want to go forward. Because when I've tried to before, it maybe you've been burned or it hasn't worked or something has happened, okay? Sorry about that, Sagittarius. I suddenly got an itch in my throat and had to cough. Um, the thing is, too, that with this, by... Um, by building that wall, you're keeping your own treasure at bay from the rest of the world. Okay, that was weird because I haven't like had a cough or anything. So maybe some of you don't want to speak what it is that you need to speak, right? Maybe you're holding back from saying um, how you really feel, right? But trust, you have to trust, okay? Get those people around you who lift you up. All right, who are going to help you fly. The ones who know what you're capable of. The ones who know what you deserve here. Get them around you. Dance in the puddles. Have some fun. Right, let this childlike spirit out. Because, you know, sometimes we just let life get too serious. And we don't actually have the fun that we, we used to have. You know, and... Um, and when we're healing, we're healing our inner child, but we also need to allow our inner child out to have the adventure that it needs to go on. Okay, so, gosh, maybe the, uh, maybe the point of all that was having to pause is that you need to kind of like stay still and just observe for a moment. Right, just observe what is going on around you. Observe how um, maybe you're becoming depleted. Um, maybe how you're giving your energy away. And just how you're actually going about things. And whether that's working for you or not. And not just deciding in your mind here, Sagittarius. Deciding within your heart. Using your intuition to work that out. Yes. Okay, so step into the unknown. Scary. Yes, it can seem very scary, right? Because you don't know what's coming. And the thing is, Sagittarius, that I know that's difficult for you because you like to, um, you know, know what's coming, sort it all out before you go forward. But this time, part of this journey is about you trusting, right? Trusting. When you've got people around you that you trust to help you travel the journey or at least support you as you walk it, it's a lot easier, okay? Because the thing is, you have the key. You have the key to be able to do this. And... Um, 
but because some of you don't know where the door is you are a little bit afraid of moving forward it's kind of like you would prefer to draw up the plans of what it is that you would like um, to happen but this journey is it, it doesn't require that because it's actually something that's set in stone anyway and it's not something you could even attempt to write or or plan or um, figure out for yourself okay hmm interesting see there's something here potentially I feel like this is actually you here Sagittarius changing things for yourself in quite a dramatic way in order for this new beginning to take place maybe this is what this pause was about having to pause to seek within yourself what is it that sets your heart on fire what is it that is your passion what what is it that your soul yearns for right for some of you there may have been this thunderbolt moment where things have come crashing down maybe it's the case that you did go in another direction before without planning anything and it all went to custard but sometimes things go to custard because it's not the direction that you're meant to go in and the divine makes sure to redirect you nothing happens by mistake now which order did these come out okay that one here See, look at this, this rebirth here, right? Nothing happens by mistake. Things are not always as they seem. And um, we can we can try our darndest to work it out, but we don't always get it. We don't always get it. So this is where it's important for you to, instead of kind of like getting bogged down with trying to work out what's happening or what direction to go in, rise above it. Rise above the terrain, right? and see what the possibilities are, yeah? Because that's what the eagle does, right? The eagle doesn't plan out and, and work it all out. The eagle sits and it waits, and it uses its intuition to make the move it needs to make at precisely the right time. No sooner, no later, right? So this is where it is so important for you to be connecting in with your guardian angel so that you can hear that in a voice tell you go it's time to go right because this new beginning is going to take place either way and it's up to you whether you take it by the reins or you resist it and when you resist it it's more difficult for you to actually move forward right it can feel so shaky and so it can it, here's the thing right these these moments happen because the foundation was never solid to begin with so take the ball by the horns and build the solid foundation that you you actually want when you decide to do that the way becomes a lot clearer for you and it, it yeah it's scary it is scary but it's about how you deal with that fear. Embrace it. Embrace it and see. treat it like an adventure rather than something to be afraid of, right? Rather than something that's like, oh, no, I can't do that. I better protect this. Um, you know, go on the adventure because it could be an adventure of the life, a lifetime, right? And this will allow you to have the breakthrough that actually you really want. This is what you're desiring. This is what your soul is calling for. So it's up to you to honour the journey of your soul. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.